Well, hello, this is Smarty Bob, and it's been a while. I'm in central Indiana, <clears throat> sitting out here in my garage, cold. It's in the 40s, maybe 42, 44. It's, it's cold. Cloudy day. My last video, I thought I was going to talk about the presenter for March, in my opinion, my favorite one, excuse me, <laughs> it's cold, was Hobbit and Piper. He's such an inspiration. <clears throat> shares a lot of his life and his experiences with good food, good drink, and a good pipe. He's such a great presenter. He's got a lot of followers. Also, in the last month, I've been paying attention to a lot of the new presenters that are coming along. I think we ought to be inspired by these new guys that are coming along and learning and picking up the difficulty of recording from phones and different devices, iPads, and how difficult it is really to make a VR. To some people, it comes naturally. They got the education and the computer experience and they have no problems at all. To others, like me, I struggle. I do all my recording from an iPhone. It has lots of limitations. One of which you can't record and then pause and, and record again. You record, when you stop, you stop that recording, then you got to record again. Then you got to get on a computer somewhere and link the two up and, and uh, it's difficult sometimes. So we need to appreciate these new presenters. We need to like them, follow them, and subscribe. One of the newest presenters is The Real Huck Finn. You can link to his channel by The Real Huck Finn. Four words, not all together. If you just type in Huck Finn, I think you get somebody else, <laughs> a musical group or something. So the basic part of this was, uh, and please excuse me, cold out here, runny nose. The basic part of it, uh, this VR was, I promised that I would talk about the, what I thought was the greatest presenter, or the best presenter in my humble opinion, in March. And of course that was Hobson Piper. I get a lot of requests sometimes. People see me record my VRs and I have a cane sitting here next to me. <clears throat> I had a knee, a new, a new knee implant a few years back. <clears throat> Did all the rehabilitation, got my movement back, but still had pain. Suffered with pain for about eight years. Went back to another surgeon. He said, gee, your patella, the cartilage on your patellas scarred that should have been smoothed out or replaced by the first doctor well it didn't get done so he did it then after that was done i felt pretty good for a while 
and I start having pain again. What the cane does, it allows you to take a little bit of pressure. And by the way, it's my left, left leg, left knee. But when I'm walking, I can take a little bit of pressure off of that left leg and left knee and it lets, makes the pain let up a little bit. So I was doing all right in here about six, eight months ago. I started having pain, more and more pain. Needless to say, I now got bone on bone in my hip. I need a hip replacement. I went and got the cortisone shot and uh, the pain was gone for about uh, four or five weeks and then it came back. So in about another week, I got an appointment to see another surgeon to get a knee replacement or a hip replacement. I'm looking forward to getting that done. I just wanted to touch base with you. Uh, I've been, I was shooting, since I started shooting these VRs, I shoot one about every week and it's been, <coughs> I think two weeks since I did my last one. Just wanted to reach out and touch to everybody. I had a lot of questions about my cane. And whether I was handicapped or not, I don't consider myself handicapped, but I do consider myself, I like to, I like to use the cane. I'm looking forward to my new hip uh, and getting rid of the cane and being able to walk around without pain. It's a terrible day here. They're saying in the next 24 to 48 hours, we're going to have some snow. I'm ready for this winter to be gone. I'm ready for my pain to be gone. I don't know whether I'll even publish this or not. <clears throat> I will show uh, probably uh, I took a little VR where I sit here and what things look like. So, if you like anything I've said, or you see, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I'm now sitting at 199 subs. <laughs> Can't get that other one. And I really don't care. If I have 25 people that watch this and are interested, that's fine as far as I'm concerned. Yesterday was just a memory. Tomorrow's a promise. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of this pipe and the rest of today. And I hope you do too.